How'd you sleep, guys? Terrible. We need to stop pulling all-nighters. The country is depending on us. I, I think Donnie's right. I had absolutely no patience today. I tore that intern a new asshole, boy, I'll tell you. Hey, Joe, you sound really good, actually. Did you get a new mic or something? You guessed it. Barack bought it for me. Thanks, Obama. It was more of a gift for me. I was tired of you sounding like you were in a McDonald's bathroom. I'm pretty sure Donnie has a whole PC setup in the McDonald's bathroom. They won't even charge him rent purely because of how many nuggies he buys. I don't even want to think about the kind of setup Ben and Jerry's has for you at headquarters. And they always have a bowl of chocolate chocolate chip waiting for when daddy gets home. Pretty wild night. Can't remember the last time I got so baked, I started hearing things. Maybe one of the thousands of people you blew up with drone strikes has come back to haunt you. Definitely not. I know it was my own mind playing tricks on me because I kept hearing ideas for tier lists. Oh, yeah. That was kind of weird. There would be a long pause. And after a few minutes, you would just hear Barack say, sandwiches. Yeah, true. What was that one that got everyone yelling? It was toast and spreads. You know, me and Barack were fucked up if we got to ask Joe for a recap. Facts. I still don't remember how that turned out. Hey, since we're up bright and early, and it's about time for breakfast anyway, do you guys want to do that toast and spreads tier list again sober? Won't Joe have an unfair advantage since he knows what happened with the list last night? No, we've actually reached the very extent of my memory as of now. It's clean slate, baby. What was he actually going to have an advantage on anyway? It's a ranking, not a competition. Oh, fuck, you're right. I might not be all the way back from last night. All right, well, let's get right into it. Uh, you guys have your test toast ready? All set. Can you remind me what we're ranking again? We're covering toast, and we're covering what covers toast. First, we'll start out ranking the doneness of toast on a scale of 1 to 10 displayed at the top of the screen. Then we'll move on to some spreads. You dig? For sure. Let's get into it. Okay, well, let's start with the first slice on the left. The 1 out of 10. Here, I thought we were ranking toast, and the first thing we talk about isn't even toast. That, sir, is warm bread. Now, that is, in fact, still toast. Any slice of bread that goes through a full cycle in the toaster is toast. Even if it comes out looking like Joe? Fuck off. Your lucky toast doesn't turn orange. A one is absolute trash. You can't even melt butter with that bullshit. Folds easier than a gender studies major. Uh, a one is the result of either a brand new toaster not properly calibrated or someone that's getting mad impatient and stops the toaster early. I already know who you vote for if you would even abort toast. Definitely not a lot going for it. Where do we think it ranks? D tier, not even toast. If it's not even toast, then shouldn't it be F tier? Close, but at the very least, you can just pop that back in the toaster and pretend you never fucked up. I'll agree with that. But I'll also point out that a one can be advantageous if you're cooking French toast. Just pop some bread in the toaster at the lowest setting before dipping it in the egg to make a much crispier crust when you go to fry it. That's pretty clutch. I could go C tier with it. C tier it is. How about a two? Okay, this time it is toast, but just barely. Pretty much the same as one, except the edges are kind of crispy. We're still in pop this back in the toaster for a couple minutes at range. I'm thinking we put this in C tier also, just above the warm bread. Good to go. How about the three? Three is pretty decent. A little lighter than I'd like it, but still okay. I don't like three much. Like you said, it is a little too light, but it's also way too toasted to put back in the toaster. True that, I feel like most diners and breakfast places run the three. I don't know if that's preference or if it makes toast production faster, but it's pretty beat. It's still an unacceptable piece of toast. I don't know how many threes I've eaten next to some eggs. Mm, B tier for this one. I'd toss three into C with the others. I'm going with Joe and B tier. I wouldn't complain at a three. Sacrilege. All right, and how about the four? Four is the beginning of the best toast. If this were a steak, it would be medium rare. Perfection. This one is good, but often unevenly toasted. You, you, you get some white spots and, and some brown spots and then a random corner that's darker than the whole thing. It looks like a diagram of how redlining and racial segregation works in this country. S tier. Come on, man. Racial segregation shouldn't be high tier anymore. I was talking about the toast, you fucking idiot. In that case, you're still wrong. Four is good, but not the best. I'd give it an A tier. Bingo. The unevenness makes it hard to predict how the spread will react. The Democrats are always so pro-diversity right up until the butter hits the toast, if you get my meaning. Uh, I don't think anyone does. I'm putting four in A tier. Damn it. Now on to the real goat. Five is the best doneness of all toastopia. It's hard to agree with what you just said in the manner you just said it, but I'm gonna have to. The perfect toast equilibrium. Most of it is a perfect golden brown with just a bit of white and a smidge of dark brown. Uh, you really can't get much better than this. 
A five is the perfect crunch, yet still soft enough to fold delicately. It does the job in almost any scenario where you need some toast. I think it's safe to call this one an S tier. No argument for me. All right, on to six. I'm really not quite sure what, what the difference between a five and a six is. First, he forgot the alphabet, and now this dude can't even count to 10? I can still count, but I see no difference between those two pieces of toast. The difference is on a five, the area of just barely toasted white is equal to or more than the more dark toasted brown. Golden brown still covers the six, but the light white toasted area is smaller than the area covered by the dark brown. Who the fuck knows this shit? I still don't really see a difference, so we should put it in S tier. I'll agree if it spares me another toast explanation. Okay, then, moving on to the seven. This is the beginning of the end of good toast. Uh, I still find the seven as an acceptable piece of toast. Maybe a bit overdone, but nothing I'd complain about. This is actually my preferred doneness. You get all the best crunch with a solid base that won't fold to any spread. Based. Come on, Barack, you're really gonna act like you even get to eat a piece of toast on this scale? We all know Michelle only buys whole wheat. Not much of a scale for that shit. Whole wheat's pretty good once you get used to it. You sound just like all the kids at school lunch coping after Michelle took their carbohydrates away. Oh, I know, such a cruel, cruel world. Now, where should we put the seven? A tier, still good, but not as good as five and six. Is it over or under the four? I personally say over. I would hit the under. The unders take it. Okay, how about eight? Overdone, not good. I don't think it's too far gone, I'd still eat it. Well, you don't have the greatest judgment. I'm with him, Donnie. It's similar to the seven. I guess it's not too bad. In this scenario, I usually scrape the surface layer with a knife until it looks more like a seven. So B tier? Only if it's under the three. I can live with that, how about the nine? We are almost past the point of no return. You're gonna be scraping for a while to make this look edible. Donnie just doesn't like African-American toast. Well, I also can't help but feel there's a racial correlation with the toast color. Come on, Barack, you're really gonna get offended. You're barely a six on this scale. Okay, I might have gone a bit too far with that. You think? Donnie's right under all that racism. I'd be pretty pissed if someone gave me a nine next to my eggs. I will admit that a nine is pretty egregious, even if you like your toast a bit toastier. D tier, maybe you get three or four good bites out of it. Yeah, that's fact. Okay, last one, guys. How do we feel about the 10? I feel like I should put it under my grill with some lighter fluid for a barbecue. That shit is vile. If your toast comes up looking like that, then there might be an imposter among you. This will happen whenever someone cooks an English muffin or something thick and forgets to turn the setting back down. Absolute disgrace! I have yet to find a single person that enjoys the sheer number of carcinogens in that slice of death. Please put it in F tier. I'm starting to taste burnt toast. That's a sign of a stroke. You okay, big dog? It'll take more than toast to kill Uncle Joey. Maybe you haven't tried hard enough. All right, now that we've ranked the toast, let's rank what goes on the toast. Starting with classic butter, of course. What can we say about buttered toast that hasn't already been said? People have been enjoying it for thousands of years. Well, that can't be true, since the toaster was invented around the year 1900. They probably just used an oven or fire before that. Regardless, it's still the most classic spread for toast in existence. I love my Irish gold. In S tier, without a doubt. Yeah, that's an easy one, but butter can take many forms. How about whipped butter? What's the difference? Does this butter want reparations? Oh my fucking God, no. It's like the same as butter except lighter and filled with air because of the whipping. It's a little healthier. Sounds like you nerfed butter. It's not a nerf. You also get the opportunity to put more stuff into it while you whip it. Add maple syrup to make maple butter and cool shit like that. Okay, now I'm into it. You have in fact won me over with maple butter, but the extra work puts it right behind regular butter in S tier. Fine with me. Now how about margarine or the more popular brand? I can't believe it's not butter. It's okay, it doesn't taste nearly as good as butter, but it's easier to spread. Fucking mid, I can definitely tell it's not butter. It's supposed to be healthier, but Michelle doesn't trust it. I don't even want to know what you have to put on your toast to survive in that house. I guess you'll find out pretty soon. Where do we rank the believably not butter? C tier, mid. I could go a low B tier with it. It's fine in a pinch. I'm with you, Joe. Now let's move on to the nut butters, starting with the classic peanut butter. Fucking legend, if you're out of butter for some reason, there's nothing wrong with a little peanut butter on toast in the morning. There are so many different brands and types to enjoy. I prefer the chunky over the smooth. As long as it's the real stuff. You're not into the right peanut butter if you don't have to mix it up as the oil collects on the top. Stop the cap. There's nothing wrong with a Jif or a Skippy. Totally unsponsored, by the way. No denying S tier. Does it beat the other butters? 
Not quite. It fits in low S tier, though. The best of the nut butters. That's what she said. OK, then, moving on to almond butter. Bro, what aren't the liberals doing to the almond? They're even milking the things. <laughs> almond butter is severely underrated. Am I right, Joe? What? Huh? Yeah, exactly. You are just asleep and don't even know what we're talking about. Nah, uh We're talking about almond milk, right? No, Joe, almond butter. Remember we had some toast with almond butter that one time at my house? Yep. And do you remember how it tasted? Nope. Uh. Sounds pretty mid to me. In no way is that a fair summary. <sighs> almond butter is just the same thing as peanut butter, but with almonds. It's way healthier and tastes pretty similar, while being easier to spread and even healthier than peanut butter. You fucking said that twice. Hold on, uh, it's right in front of me. Let me try it. Oh yeah, I actually gave you some that very same time. I never opened it, but here it goes. Oh yeah. Pretty good, not like peanut butter good, but still fine. Told you, are we thinking A tier for this one, Joe? I'm with it. Better options were floating around in my pantry, though. Okay, let's move on to the hazelnut spreads, with the most popular being Nutella. Oh my fucking God, this shit is like crack for white people. I wouldn't be surprised if drugs actually made it on the list, judging from what they're finding randomly in the White House. What my aides need to do to get the job done is no business of anyone else's. I kind of like Nutella, but there's definitely way better hazelnut spreads out there. Either way, it's better than sex, and I want to inject it directly into my veins. You have a problem. I don't think it's bad, but it's definitely not the second coming of Christ. Uh, I will smack you. Uh, B tier, you gotta mix it with chocolate for it to be good. Hazelnuts are mid. You're fucking mid. I think I'm gonna split the difference and put it in high A tier. Watch out, Barack, he's very defensive over his hazelnut spread. This is bullshit, Nutella even beats butter. He's delusional, somebody take him back to the basement. I'm already there. Sorry, Joe, it just doesn't have a lot of nutritional value. The next one is pretty fun. How about cookie butter? Cookie what? Oh yeah, you told me about this shit last night and I had it overnight shipped. I'm about to try it out. You lucky bastard. Joe, you also ordered some at the same time. Holy shit, you're right, it's right in front of me. Let me know how you guys like it. This shit slaps. I will admit that is pretty good, exactly how you described it too. Like fresh biscuits combined with butter. It's so smooth and so good that this has to be terrible for you, right? Would you believe that it's much healthier for you than Nutella? It's got like half the sugar. This should go to the top of A tier, it's pretty awesome. It's really good, but it can't go over Nutella. I'm putting it over Nutella, Joe. No! All right, let's move on to the jams, starting with grape jelly. Jams are my jam, and you can find no better than grape jelly. Yeah, it's pretty superior to all other jellies and jams. By far, the best jams are homemade and sold at farmer's markets. Unfortunately, that's also where all the worst jams are, too. Can't go wrong with grape jelly. It's really the only thing I've seen so far that contends with butter for the top spot. I totally agree. Grape jelly would be number one on the list for me. I still think butter tops it. I can't quite put it over the Irish gold, but in combination with peanut butter, it far surpasses butter. That's fair. Plus, jelly is very overrated as far as healthy foods go. Butter is much better for you than jam, surprisingly. <laughs> Should we put it under peanut butter for that? I would. I'd still have to put jelly above peanut butter on this particular tier list, but I do like peanut butter more for the record. I'll go with you, Joe. Jelly on toast is complete nostalgia for me. How about strawberry jam? Strawberry is pretty okay, but definitely not my first choice for jam. I don't like all the seeds. I don't mind them. The taste is nearly as good as grape. Uh, if I want jelly, I'm definitely picking grape over strawberry. I'd put it at the bottom of A tier. That's even higher than I'd put it, but that's okay. All right, then. How about raspberry jam? Another good jam. I definitely wouldn't take this one over the other two, but it's good nonetheless. I don't really fuck with it much. I know people put it in tea. Yeah, it's fine. I, I still like strawberry more. I'll put it right under. To finish off the jams, how about marmalade? Marmalade is pretty tight. I like the orange tanginess. I definitely prefer it over the other two jams in A tier. I really like it too. It's not for everyone, but I really enjoy citrus in the morning. Who can say no to a spreadable orange? I can agree with Donnie over the other two jams in A. Sweet, moving on from jams, we first have honey. Honey toast is goaded. Absolutely, there's something about honey toast that is just perfect. I mean, it's probably in contention for the top spot. Absolutely not, you should not be eating honey at all, but especially not in the morning. There's next to no nutritional value, just like jams, except even worse. Did your wife at least give you a tummy rub before she took your balls? Yeah, sure, keep eating liquid sugar. I know you're being sarcastic, but I'm gonna pretend you aren't. Where in S tier should we put honey, Donnie? I'd say right under jelly, that good? Good for me, what's the next spread? This one should be in contention for the best. 
Where would we place avocado? Yuktir. That stuff is gross. Yeah, I'm, I've never enjoyed it too much. It's a consistency thing for me. You've got to be shitting me right now. Avocado toast is hugely popular and an amazing breakfast health-wise. I think it beats butter. And you're organic dreams nerd? I know a lot of people do like it, and you can make pretty art projects with other toppings. <laughs> I say we throw Barack a bone and put it at the top of B tier. What do you think, Don? I guess in the name of partisanship, I can oblige. Uh, you guys are next level stupid. What about another healthy one, yogurt? Motherfuckers are out here putting yogurt on toast. Why? Yeah, I love gogurt as much as the next guy, but I never thought about dumping my load on a piece of toast before. A lot of people put yogurt on toast because it's infinitely healthier than most of the things we've ranked so far, and you can use it like a binder to put sliced fruit over the top. That's a pretty good idea. Here's a better one. Put your fruit in the yogurt and then eat toast separately like a normal human. You both still don't understand custard. When you cook the yogurt toast in the oven or an air fryer, it condenses and forms custard. Fucking immaculate. Wow, that shit actually looks bussin'. I'm gonna have to try it. It'll change your life. Fine, where would you rank yogurt on toast? S tier, probably just under butter. I'm gonna limit you to the top of A tier because you have to use an oven and mix a bunch of stuff to make this really good. Plus, I still think you look like a moron putting yogurt on toast. This is outrageous, but I guess I'll take it. How about the most healthy spread on the list, Marmite? Never had it, is it any good? It is rather tasty and healthy. Remember I had you order some along with the cookie butter? Holy shit, you're right, it's right in front of me. We'll give it a taste. Ah. Ha ha ha, sucks, doesn't it? Blech. Why does it taste so fucking bad? Oh, come on, it isn't that bad. Maybe more of an acquired taste. I don't know how one could acquire a taste for something that should be leaking from a diesel engine. It's very popular in the UK. Are we really citing the British for the best food? Only on Tuesday, in it. So where should we rank Marmite since Barack is on that prison camp food over there? Well, it tastes like a weird soy sauce paste that has no business being on toast. F tier. I couldn't agree more. Okay, Barack, what's the next equally healthy and disgusting spread? Fine, you asshats. How about we rank the most unhealthy shit? How do we feel about fluff? It's okay, not great. All right, Barack, you've made your point. Fluff is shitty. I don't even like it when paired with peanut butter, which is how everyone eats it. It's not that bad. You don't like marshmallows or something? Has anyone in history ever just had plain toast with fluff? Absolutely not, this shit is gross. You have a point there? C tier? D tier. Fluff's far too sweet due to it being like 100% sugar. It has nothing going for it. I will have to agree, especially since you'll definitely get some on your face and look like you just sucked a dick. Yeah, that reminds me, let's rank cream cheese. Cream cheese is the king of sus looking spreads. I'm not much of a cream cheese guy, and I don't think I've ever seen cream cheese on toast, only on bagels. True, toast isn't a great platform for the sheer mass of cream cheese that I need. It's still pretty goaded on bagels, and that taste does transfer over. I'd put it in B tier right above. I can't believe it's not butter and under avocado. That is somehow also in B. That's fine, I guess. Now, can we cover cinnamon sugar? Cinnamon sugar? That's not a spread. And that's two different things. They can't be ranked at once. If cinnamon sugar is the same as cinnamon and sugar, then I'd like to see you try and separate them once combined. OK, but how the hell are you going to spread that across dry toast? Playing devil's advocate, I could argue that you could just press a piece of toast into cinnamon sugar and a good amount of it will stick. I am, however, aware that you would profit from using a binder like butter. I don't think it should rank highly. You're just adding sugar to a piece of bread that consists partly of sugar already. Just adding a little uh, cinnamon sugar to an already buttered slice of toast is great. <laughs> But if you go all out and mix cinnamon sugar with butter and paint it on the bread before broil or baking it in the oven, you'll have yourself a dessert that you can put up against anybody. It creates a caramelized sheet of buttery cinnamon goodness. You've just described how to surpass your recommended daily caloric intake with a slice of bread and speed run obesity. I'm on Donnie's side with this. Anything that surpasses the taste of cinnamon toast crunch is good in my book. Don't worry, Barack, I realize the drawback. Cinnamon sugar really can't stand alone without butter. I'm willing to put it down in B tier over avocado. That is fucking lunacy. You can't put pure sugar over the healthiest options. I agree with Donnie. Put cinnamon toast over that stuff that looks like mashed baby Yoda. Now I remember why I was yelling so much last night. I only have a couple more. So let's finish this blasphemy. Starting with the cheese spread. You, who cuts the cheese at breakfast? Cheese spread is actually not bad. You're just biased because one of these probably convinced you to change your skin color. A man should not be judged by the color of his skin, but by the content of his spread. It hurts my bloodline when you quote MLK. 
I think cheese spread is pretty middle of the road because some cheese spreads are goaded and others are glorified cheese whiz. When you find your brand, you'll understand. Bars, spreadable cheese whiz still sucks though. I say we put it in B tier to cover the good and the bad. Where would you put it in B, Don? Since we're lumping all cheese spreads together, it drags the average down pretty substantially. I put it under cream cheese. Yuck. Okay, last one. Let's finish it off with another staple in Britain. Beans on toast. Kind of a British classic mate edition Tuesday in it. Wow, you're pretty good at that. Come on, guys. Beans are a healthy choice. Stop. If I got out of here, one more thing about healthy choices. I'm leaking all my nuclear codes. Geez, okay then. I'm sorry to our allies in the UK, but beans don't belong on toast. It's like they intentionally find the most cringe foods to eat. Yeah, I'll admit I'm not into it. <laughs> beans are fine as a side at a barbecue, but... That's not what I want to see when I wake up. Uh, and this is coming from the guy that wakes up next to Michelle. <laughs> Motherfucker, I have Hillary on speed dial. You want to meet God today? We've already met. I am the chosen one. Yeah, just rank the beans. D tier, keep the beans in the bean cabinet. Um... All right, let's wrap this up. Joe's running on fumes over here. D tier is fine, under or over fluff. It's gotta be over. I like beans, but just not for breakfast. What the fluff? That's fine, Barack. Successful list. Who's your daddy? All right, it's time to give Joe his pills. I want to thank everyone that tuned in. Uh, be sure to comment and like the video if you enjoyed. When were their butter toast? Um, but wait before you click off. I have a new Discord server running if anyone wants to join. It's a great way to get updates on all the content, and you can even talk to the president sometimes as well. Links in the description. Good stuff. All right, my fellow Americans, until next time. And President Toastopia.